Hey everybody, I'm Tim here with Nate from Boveda and today it's time for my first humidor. You're watching Cigars Daily. Hey, get more out of this and all our content when you join the community on Cigars Daily Plus. Have you heard of Cigars Daily Plus before? I have. Great place to find the best damn cigar content online. Absolutely. I want to present Nate with his arch nemesis, enemy number one, the thing for which all Boveda people have fear. A gallon of distilled water. <laughs> I mean, what worse natural enemy could Boveda possibly have in the world than this right here? It's a giant mess. It's a Just mess. Waiting this to is a mess to you. All that's you see. Waiting to happen, yes. So this is spilled. I li I mean, yeah. I want to say that that's not true, although I def I literally spilled water. All One of my studio lights fell on the table, and I spilled water all over the table. Five minutes ago. Okay, all right. So fair enough. Yeah. Uh, f first of all, major props to Boveda for replacing a gallon of water with a product. Correct. I don't know who else in the world could yeah. do that. You guys literally came up with something that does the job better than yep. water does, which is damn impressive. That's what I want to dive into today and especially chat about, you know, for guys who are just getting into this. Sure. You're, you're getting into cigars. I know a lot of guys start off, they go to the brick and mortar shop, they sit in the lounge, they buy a cigar there, maybe they take a bag home with mm -hmm. two or three in it and kind of smoke through them. But at some point you're starting to think about getting your first humidor correct and like you guys have done i mean basically the most trusted name in humidification products uh for humidors there is but even even then you've innovated in this way with a two-step grab the 65 percent back bet. over there two two-way humidification correct your packs release humidity they absorb the extra humidity correct they regulate it and we it's a super efficient process the membrane that's underneath this craft paper uh works extremely quickly the minute you open this cellophane take it out of this package okay, drop it uh, in your, i want to yeah, do that right now inside are literally three ingredients purified water a precise salt to hold different levels of humidity that's what that's what makes it the different percentage correct and then a little bit of a food grade thickener that keeps all of that salt in suspension so it works evenly throughout that's the life of the pack. so thick correct two c's correct. okay Fantastic. Yeah. I know that Boveda is has quickly become the most trusted name. And I mean, I truly, over a gallon of distilled water, these things regulate incredibly well. Correct. Uh, a lot of guys will get these, you know, you go to a cigar shop, you, you grab a few cigars and they'll throw one in your bag you can take home. Yep. People use those in their humidors. But what if you don't have a humidor at home? What if you're just, you're contemplating, you're like, gosh, I've been in this cigar thing for a while. I like it. I'm probably going to keep some cigars at home and yep. start a collection. Yep. You guys created this intermediary step for this. Take me through the Boveda one year humidor bag. Yes. Because, you know, when you go home, you, there are some other options to a desktop humidor, a cabinet humidor like you have here. Yeah. But you end up still spending more money than one of our one-year humidor bags. Okay. So what's nice about these one-year humidor bags is they come preloaded with the Boveda pack right inside. All you have to do on all three sizes, and this one... This is the small size. The small size holds... Three to five or six cigars, depending on how you bundle them in here. Okay. This one, tear the top, open up the Ziploc closure, drop your cigars in, seal it up. Your cigars are good for a full year in and out of this bag. You make that sound very simple, okay? Yeah. And, and dare I say, too damn good to be true. Uh -huh. How is this thing different than a Ziploc bag that my wife has in the kitchen, in the in the drawer that I put sandwiches in? Not Because my sandwiches yeah. are always moist when I take uh -huh. them out. Uh -huh. They're only in there for a few days. It's not much different, other than the fact that it is much heavier polyurethane, odorless, so it doesn't add any smells to your cigars. You know, if you go home and you open up a box of Ziploc gallon zipper bag, you know, right. storage bags, yeah. there's a plasticky smell there. There sure as hell is. You're not going to get that with these. This is also a denser, what we'll call vapor membrane. So Ooh. this is going to hold moisture in this bag more solidly than a Ziploc bag. Now, if you go home, take a Ziploc bag with this size Boveda pack, you're going to easily get probably six to nine months in that bag you know, with your cigars in there. Yeah. It's going to work okay. However, this bag 
is going to be much less resistant to tearing. It's not going to add any odors to your cigars. You mean more resistant to tearing. It's more resistant to tearing, right. correct. You're not going to have to worry about that additional smell. No microplastics. No microplastics. We're very concerned about microplastics <laughs> today, okay? Yes. I hear that word more than any other word in the English language now. Do you really? So I really do. Yeah. I'm very concerned And especially about in uh, like microfiber cloths. That stuff right. gets into everything. It's in everything. So the nice thing with this pouch is it's going to be more durable. Uh, this size in particular is exactly the right size to fit into the interior pocket of any sport coat or uh, fall winter jacket. Oh, fall a winter jacket. Like so, like this pocket's a little. It's it's a little small. It's a little small, but a suit jacket is just a little bit bigger and oh, it slides right in. My it's a button. button. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. So it does fit nicely on the interior So if you're going pocket. out, you're wearing a sports coat, you got a pimping right jacket in. on, you yep. can put it right in there yep. with a few cigars. Whereas you take a, you know, a cigar sleeve or a, a you know, container that the top slides off, you'll get two, three cigars in there, but you have to drop some sort of humidification and it holds right. for maybe a day. Right. But that's bulkier. Now you've got this larger thing in your suit coat pocket. This is very minimal. Works great in a in a jacket pocket. It works great in a golf bag in the side pocket or the side compartment of your car door. Uh, just don't leave it in your car, especially if it gets hot where you live, because uh, the cigars can get a little, kind of like, you know, you take a bag of buns at a family picnic and they get all damp and moist. They get, yeah, they get gross. They'll eventually catch up, but that's generally, you want to stay away from that. All right, here's a question I get from a lot of people. Or yep. I, this is not a question people ask me, but it's a question I'm going to ask on your behalf because I see you all doing this all the damn time, and it drives me out. Do I need to... Do I need a 60 gram Bovida in a bag of this size? Because this is what I see people doing all too often uh -huh. is switching out for the larger size Bovida because uh -huh. I think it feels better. It's like, sure. oh yeah, this thing, this is your, this is the high capacity magazine of, of humidification Correct. right here. So Correct. is this really enough for, yes. for that for a year? For a year. Yep. I have, I have Bovida bags. So right. we make two Two sizes larger. We make a medium that's about this big, and then we make a large bag that's generally for you know up to seventy cigars, potentially up to a couple boxes. Which, by the way, price wise, from a desk from a desktop humidor, yep. I mean, how, how how much is the big bag? So the large bag retails for thirteen ninety nine. Okay, so thirteen bucks for a humidor. Yep. That that is a one year humidor. And there's another question. I'm asking. I'm just throwing a lot of questions at you. Yeah. Uh, after a year, do I have to throw this? Is this worthless now? No, you keep this. You keep this. And then you just replace it with one of these. So this is like this is going to be a buck or something like that, and yeah, you just throw another one in there. Exactly. Or if you want to, if you want to get the high capacity, you know, magazine, they're yeah. four dollars. Yep. And then it goes for another year. So the bag yeah. is always good. Yeah. Now, the, but another quick caveat: uh -huh. when it comes to simple humidification for cigars, and this is what I love about the cigar industry today, is that you don't have to do a wooden desktop humidor. There's so many more options out there. Tell me there's an advantage to this over Tupperware. I mean, I, my wife's going to be like, where's the sandwich box? Yeah, where's right? the sandwich Tupperware? Yeah, yeah. And they're all in my room on my desk, with neatly cigars. categorized uh -huh. and labeled with the cigars in them. Yeah. All the bovitas in them. Is this, does this truly give me an advantage over one of those? The, the Tupperwares work just fine. But when you now want to take 10 cigars, you're not going to pack a Tupperware in your suitcase. That's just going to take up way too much room. Sure. However, you lay 10 cigars flat in our medium humidor bag, nestle it between a couple t-shirts on top of your carry-on, you're good to go. So I just experienced this. I went to Miami a few weeks ago, and if you guys are following the Inside the Cigar Heartland tour, uh, I'm taking you guys inside the cigar industry in Miami, but I traveled over there, mm -hmm. and I brought a, a hard case travel humidor mm -hmm. with me. Mm -hmm. And while I was there, what I didn't expect was, you know, all the cigar makers I saw all gave me lots of cigars. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why I didn't expect that. They're mm -hmm. all generous people. But when I came back, what I ended up using was bags for everything mm -hmm. because outside of, like, a travel humidor that holds three to five cigars... A hard case travel humidor that holds 20 cigars takes up a ton of space. I mean, a that hell thing. of a lot more space than one of these things. A does. hell of a lot more. And you get a Boveda bag, fill it with 70 cigars, kind of tuck in the edges. You can nestle that in your carry-on, pack stuff around it so it doesn't get damaged. Yep. Way easier than trying to put that, you know, 20 cigar Pelican case. Now you have an extra carry-on. Yeah. And airlines are getting, you know, stricter and stricter on what you can bring on a plane, especially if it's full. So, you know, women with their purses, that sometimes has to go up above or that's an extra bag. You're not going to get much leeway on that extra stuff. And you don't want to have to carry that extra right. case. Yeah. 
if you're going to only take home 20 cigars, now you got to go to a FedEx or a UPS and ship them home. Yeah. Or you get a large bag for $14, which you're not going to throw away because you're going to take that Ziploc and when you're done, you know, let's say you have a Kentucky Fire Cured in that bag. Now that bag smells. Right. You know, and that can happen with the Boveda bag as well because some of those smells are just very hard to get out. But now you have all those cigars in one space. Take them home, put them in your other containers, but now you have extra storage. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No worries. Um, but now you have extra storage. Yes. Now you have an extra bag that, oh, shoot, I just bought three more boxes. Or my buddy gave me a present for Christmas. Yeah. I'm tapped out. I've got uh, yeah. 20... I went into the shop. They had the extra rare limited yes. Opus Opus, Opus yes. Opus, whatever, yes. XX Fuente thingy. Yes. And I just bought a ton of it. So if you're going to get a decent... Rubbermaid, Tupperware, Loctite, whatever you know, whatever manufacturer you buy on Amazon or at Walmart or Target, you want one that seals well. But you're going to spend for a case that holds probably 25 cigars. You're going to spend 15 or 20 dollars. Right. Then you got to throw in a four dollar Bovina. That bag is still cheaper or less expensive than getting another Tupperware. The nice thing, especially if you sit on boxes, unless you have cooler storage or Rubbermaid storage where you can stack in there right. and you have the space to do it in your garage or in a closet, you can stack vertically or horizontally those humidor bags. So you can get six, seven boxes all you know next to your dresser right. or slid under your bed. Now they're out of the way, but they're perfectly humidified. Take me through this. A man just getting into cigars or a woman. And sort of like moving from that intermediary step from, you know, I buy one or two at the cigar shop too. I want to start keeping a collection at home. Yep. Where does this fit in? It's obviously a good first step, but like, I mean, you buy the larger humidor bags. Is the expectation you guys have with these, that these can be good storage for a cigar collection up to what? Like how many cigars and for how long? And at what point would you move on from humidor bags to something, I don't know, more permanent? I, I've been smoking for 30 years. I always have cigars with me. Historically, I've constantly carried an eight cigar Pelican case. Works great. Lost it once in Vegas, left it next to a slot machine, Oops. and went back to go find it Oops. in a, less than a minute, and it was gone. Yeah. Now, it was more sentimental than anything. It's a lot easier, and I always have a couple of these in my right vehicle in the, at in the home, pocket. In, in the your... pocket. I'm generally, if I go out for an evening for dinner or to hang with friends... It's pretty rare that I'm going to smoke more than five cigars. And if I am, I'm probably going to, you know, ask for a friend to give me a cigar, give him another one the next time I see him. Yeah. But three to five cigars is a pretty, that's a decent yeah. evening for even a heavy smoker. It's a lot easier to take this bag, put it in an outside pocket, an inside pocket of your jacket, you know, pocket of your cargo pants. And as you take cigars out, when you smoke through all your cigars in a Pelican case or a small Tupperware... Now you have an empty case that you can't put anywhere. So right. you got to set it next to you. you case is still the, the same size. Case is the same size. This, you just fold it up. Put it in your wallet. Put next it to in your, your pocket. Dried up condom. <laughs> 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 Whatever you want to keep in your really, pockets. Yeah. Now you have something that's easy to take home. There's no damage to it, and you use it again. Okay. And as long as the bag doesn't get a tear or the zipper breaks, you can keep using this for years and just replenish this pack once it gets crispy. So Fantastic. at a year plus. And in all reality, if you have cigars in here that you only go into three, four times a year, you keep them in your golf bag, you know, that sits in your garage and you just don't want to worry about it. It's not getting damaged. They're not getting crushed. You're probably going to get longer than that on this pack because yeah. the only way that these packs give off or absorb moisture is if new fresh air comes in. Like you open a humidor lid, you open that Tupperware lid. These packs can last much longer than they say they do, especially if you jam a 60 gram in one of these pouches you're going to get an exceptionally long amount of time to store your cigars that you don't have to worry about so let's say you put the golf bag away for the winter you know put it down in the basement those cigars are great until you take them out for sure six months from now for sure and you go out for your first round of golf and you get to the course and you think oh dang it i forgot to grab cigars and Dude. then you remember hold on I, I, I had this experience today. I'm in my office, mm -hmm. okay? And, and uh, tomorrow's Veterans Day, and Jim and I are going to go down and give some cigars to veterans. Yeah. We need a bag awesome. to take the cigars down to the veterans. Mm -hmm. And Jim's like, well, what kind of bag? Can we take a little backpack? What should we take a little handbag? Maybe a Pelican case? Mm -hmm. and, I, and I remembered that a couple years ago, not, it was last year, it was 2022, uh, you know, Oliva Nick gave me a faux leather Oliva backpack bag. 
Oh, I have one of those. And I opened yeah. I opened it up. Yeah. And it's it's filled with cigars from PCA 2022. Still in the bag? Still in the bag. Still in the bag. And like and perfect. They weren't in an, they weren't in a Boveda humidor bag. So okay. no, they so were no. <laughs> they were all done. They were all gone. But it, but this is something that happens to cigar smokers all too often. You yeah. get cigars for an event. Yeah. You're going out. You're going to be hanging out with your friends. You keep them in your pocket. You take off that that coat jacket when you get home. You get yep. you get intimate with the wife. You forget about it. You uh-huh. hang it up in the in the yes. thing. And then a year later, you're like, oh no, those cigars were in there. And certainly, it would change the whole situation for you finding cigars in your golf bag, in your coat pocket, mm-hmm. and they're still good a year they're later. Still good. Like yep. that. Like that. That's less like finding a dead mouse in your in your suit coat where you're like oh yeah. no it's yeah. gone and yeah. more like finding 20 bucks it's like oh totally. score like because I, it probably is 20 bucks so i think yeah. that i think for me this is the biggest appeal uh, appeal of the boveda humidor bag and i yeah we know that you guys have got a lot of options out there to kick off a humidor collection yeah. to start keeping them in a great place and certainly the environment is one of the most critical things for keeping a cigar collection I think the Bovidus Humidor Bag is a strong way to go, right along with some of the other options people like. Sure. You know, wooden desktop humidor, small thermoelectric, your Tupperware. This one certainly presents some very cool features that those Absolutely. don't have. Portability, yep. that the capacity to take it with you and bring it home, Minimal. store it in the sock drawer, minimalist. Yep. And by the way, beyond more affordable than all those options outside of like a like the sandwich box that you'd you know, take from your wife's. Correct. So this is amazing. And Thank you so much for coming on to tell us about You're it. You're welcome, Tim. All yeah. right. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate and you, too. Everybody, drop your comments down below. What was your first humidor? Let us know. And have you ever used the Boveda one-year humidor bag? What has your experience been like with it? Because we know you guys truly have all the experience. And, of course, check this video out on Cigars Daily Plus. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim and Nate, both signing off for Cigars Daily. And we'll see you in the comments.